What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the other side of the Firewall Podcast. We talk about the latest and greatest of cybersecurity news, as well as we highlight those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams, and as always, I'm joined by Shan Times. What's up? What's up? What's going on? And uh, unfortunately, Levon couldn't make it this week, but he should be back next week. Uh, definitely continue to tune in. We are back. We've been gone for a little bit. Monday and Tuesdays are our topics. Wednesday is the discussion. Uh, our last episode dealt with a Colorado utility company losing um, people's data or a third party for them lost, losing other people's data, I should say. Uh, and then tomorrow's discussion uh, revolves around a hacking group that was able to strike an Iranian um, facility of some sort and start a fire through through the uh, the interwebs. So definitely interesting uh, discussion. No Ask Us SP this week, but I'm trying to get one in for next week. Um, and then Friday, everything else, right? Movies, books, TV, all that good stuff. But uh, I'm going to try to pronounce this website's name. So from a shark, Alasat, um, it's a English website uh, from Saudi Arabia. So the uh, the title of the uh, article is Saudi Arabia, U.S. signed MOU, which is Memorandum of Understanding, to promote cybersecurity cooperation. So I found this one interesting because I didn't know there, uh, there was a pre-existing um, uh, understanding between the two countries. But in this case, uh, this MOU is uh, between the Saudi National Cybersecurity Authority, the NCA, uh, and the US Department of Homeland and the Cybersecurity Infrastructure and Infrastructure Security Agency, or uh, CISA. Um, and it deals with Sure, I got all these good details in here. Um, it's a continuation to ongoing cooperation between the two countries in cybersecurity. It focuses on several areas, such as sharing cyber threat information between both countries and exchanging best practices and expertise in this field. Um, so it, it's it's kind of like a um, doubling of efforts between the two communities. Um, obviously, like um, cyber attacks and ransomware and all that stuff is pretty rampant for us. Uh, so, I mean, it's a, it's a worldwide issue um, between the two countries. They will um, help help each other with uh, monitoring these threats. They will um, share information when they are attacked, things of that nature. And then, uh, like I said, best practices so is how we got after X or Y or what have you. Um, so it's, it's definitely a good effort. Uh, I like to see it. I'm, I hope it happens um, between other nations, right? So like we know... Interpol and the FBI and uh, the Department of Justice have been working together a lot when it came to like um, catching, I believe it was in, it was one in um, the Netherlands or somewhere in one of those uh, Scandinavian countries where they're um, catching um, sex traffickers. And then there was another one we talked about where the cartel had burner phones that had, had uh, uh, apps on them. They made them download the apps, right? Yeah. yeah. Or they yep. got them to download the apps. So. Right. They got them to download the apps. Then uh, they were able to, to view their text messages like and uh, like them admitting to crimes and trafficking people and selling weapons. Um, so it's, it's good to see the, these nations working together in order to, to thwart these efforts. Because um, I'm, I'm sure Saudi doesn't want a colonial pipeline type situation over there, right? So it's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> what is how, how do we get after this <laughs> before it happens to us type situation so uh what do you think about this channel man you hit it dead on man that was gonna that was gonna be my point right like i was gonna point to colonial pipeline oh, like, <laughs> no 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 that's good that's good right because like we're thinking the same thing like that's exactly what they're trying to get away from so like they saw what happened over here and it, it could only it, it would only be worse for them because when you think saudi what do you think right you start thinking right oh, right that's what you think about and and not i know we don't usually get into the socioeconomic and and some of that other stuff the political that's going on nowadays but like in this instance i think this was something where um this was probably this was probably something that we pushed out there right because of what's going on in russia and ukraine right so right. when you start thinking about it like what's going to happen so like if we're going to if we're going to start um, putting sanctions on Russia and, and start telling countries, hey, if you deal with Russia, you can't deal with us and you're going to be sanctioned by us. And what is Russia getting a lot of their money from, right? It's their oil, right? Their gas mm -hmm. and their oil, right? So <clears throat> Saudi being the big producer they are, 
they we I, I think what was happening was you know our administration was probably like we need, probably need to head this off at the pass because it's only a matter of time before Russia starts having some cybersecurity attacks in Saudi. You know what I mean? Right. Um, it wouldn't just it wouldn't just be us, right? Because Saudi supplies to not just us around the nation, right? Like I said, they got big reserves over there. They supply to a lot of people, a lot of countries, I should say. Um, but yeah, you hit the nail on the head, man. Like we don't want that colonial pipeline thing happening over here. That's what, that's what MBS is over there saying, right? <laughs> so over there like, hey, nah, I still I still need my billions. I need to I need to get a new yacht every time one gets wet. You know what I mean? I can't. I can't. <laughs> just switch them out. You know what I mean? Like, oh, this one has touched the water. I don't want it anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> buy buy me another one. <laughs> be like right. he like me. He like Nino. He like Nino over there. Cancel this yacht. Buy <laughs> buy another one. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh man. yeah man yeah i think you i think you hit the nail on the head man and and i and just like you i didn't know we had a pre-existing relationship when it came to cybersecurity either when it came to right. Saudi. I, right. I was not aware of that so uh, but to continue that and and to stay along those lines like yeah that's that's a good thing there's some other things going on outside of you know cybersecurity that some people are not happy about with things right. that happen with saudi but um that's not what they're thinking about in this instance so but yeah, it's, it, it was an interesting, an interesting story when they talked about that. But I, I was thinking just like you were, man, same, same type of stuff. Right. Right. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how, what, what more efforts happen. I'm sure there'll be more uh, memorandums of understanding, things of that nature between other nations. So we'll, we'll bring those up as they, they, um, they happen, but, but yeah, every, everything is, it's a lot of, um, fallout obviously from the continuous, um, war between Ukraine and, uh, and Russia. So everybody's like prepping, right? Shoring up the uh, the the, um, the the loopholes, for lack lack of a better term, um, to keep themselves safe and their and their um, their uh, po populace. So more to come, but um, uh, definitely continue to like, share, subscribe. Like I said, our um, schedules for the week are Monday, and Tuesday are topics, Wednesday's discussion, uh, Thursday's ask us SP. I don't have one yet, I think, but this will be the first one I do. Um, with um, uh, Skyler Hunter. He is a uh, self-proclaimed uh, script kitty and uh, pen tester or pen tester in train, I should say. So he does it. A lot of this is, hobby, is, is his hobby. He's going to talk about his tools and how he got into it and all that good stuff. So definitely look out for that one. And then Friday's everything else. So if you want to hear us catch up on Thor and Ms. Marvel and me finally watching Star Wars, definitely tune in for that um, uh, as well. Hit up all of our social medias. They go by our name. Give me up personally. I'm at RyRy Security Guy. That's R Y R Y Security Guy. I am on Clubhouse, LinkedIn, Twitter, and TikTok. And Levon Maynard is Levon Maynard at Twitter. So hit him up as well. Stay safe, stay secure.